intro here for the Bear Pack. Before we get into this video, we wanted to share that we are growing here on this channel, and that is all due to your guys' love and support. The growth has been amazing. So as we grow, we wanted to give you guys some goals to work towards as we get into this football season. We're going to pull them up right now. Here are our goals. We're currently sitting at about 6,700 subs on this channel. So at 7K subs, we're going to have a Bobby Witt Jr. bobblehead giveaway. I got that at the first game of the Kansas City Royals opening day. It is still in the box. Haven't taken it out. It's in great condition. So that's going to be a good prize. And by the way, Bobby Witt Jr., 20 home runs now in the season. He's having a great second half of the year. 8K subs. We're going to have a jersey giveaway. We've done a lot of jersey giveaways. We'll probably do two jersey giveaways at 8K. 9K subs. Sports memorabilia giveaway. That can be anything from a jersey to a sports card to something else. In reason, we don't want to be giving away a LeBron James signed game jersey, but we will try our best on that sports memorabilia giveaway. 10K subs are big one, $1,000 giveaway. When we get there, we'll probably have people decide in the chat what they want to do with that. We can either have 10, 100, 2, 500, or just a $1,000 giveaway, whichever one anybody wants. And then the 12K subs, we're going to try to send somebody to a game of their choice, two tickets each. We are very excited for this football season as it is our money maker. We did great last season, looking to ride that momentum into this season. So if you're new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe and don't miss out on these upcoming season. Enjoy the video, guys. We'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, let's get into some MLB picks and props for Saturday, September 2nd, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Start us off. Yeah, and at the moment, I'm 0 for 0. More than likely going to be 0 and 1. I gave out the Astros minus 1.5 on the full game run line versus the Yankees. And they got kind of blown out in this game. It's the bottom of the eighth at the moment, down 6 to 2. Some guy commented Astros on the money line, surest bet of the night, minus 200 play. He has some balls for that. Did not even cash. So I'm sorry about that. And commenter, I'm sorry about you. Seth? Yeah. Um, somehow it looks like I'm going to be 0 and 1. I, I'm just, mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of game left. I picked the Blue Jays minus one and a half on the run line against the Rockies. The Blue Jays jumped out to a 4 2 lead, but Toronto's bullpen just gave came in and gave up three runs so the Rockies are currently ahead five to four in this game there's still three innings to play with though so that Blue Jays offense can get it going so we still got a chance but so we're 0 and 0 right now yeah um I wouldn't want to know I had the Boston Red Sox against the Royals over nine and a half runs I said it was my favorite play of the day because the Red Sox are going to put up nine basically what happened here was uh, I studied for the test I, I had all the stats I had all the trends I studied for the test I went into the classroom I was given the test that I didn't think I was supposed to have today, and I circled C for all the answers, and I still got 100%. So that's what happened today. The Royals scored 13 so far, and Alex Verdugo just hit a two-run home, two home run against Lyles, who has 110 pitches, and he hadn't given up a run until that home run. So thank you, Alex Verdugo, for finally getting him out of the game. I hate watching Jordan Lyles pitch. 13-2 to two right now. We did hit the over of 9.5, but we're moving on to tomorrow. Trey, let's start our play. Start us off. Hey, and you kind of called that yesterday. You said they keep him in the seventh, eighth, ninth, doesn't matter, then they will allow him some runs. So that's exactly what happened for Jordan Lyles. He almost got out with a scoreless, you know, showing. But my play for today, it's going to be the Tampa Bay Rays at the Cleveland Guardians. In this game, I'm pretty excited to watch it because both these teams, they love to play some competitive baseball. The Rays, they come in this game with the second best record in the American League with an 82 and 52 record, 37 and 29 on the road. And they're winners of eight out of their last 10 games. That's just no different. The Rays have been dominant all season long. And the Guardians, they come this game with a 64-70 and 70 record. 33-33 and 33 at home. They're fighting to stay above 500 with their home record. But they're known to be competitive because they only have a minus nine run differential through 134 games. So all their games have been pretty close this season. But I'm going to be taking an under in this game. I'm going to be going to the first five. I'm going to be taking the under four and a half total runs in this game. I really love this because we're getting two pitchers that are known for not allowing a ton of runs. And I think it's going to be an underrated pitcher's duel because Tampa Bay, they're throwing out Zach Littell in this game. And, and he's been great whenever he's pitching on the road this season because he's pitched in 12 road games and started in five of those. And he's turned that to a 2.97 ERA with a 1.15 whip. And Cleveland, he's throwing out one of my favorite pitchers in Logan Allen. And he's been decent in his 10 home games this season because he's turned that to a 3.7 ERA. With a 1.37 whip, so the edge goes slightly to the Rays in this game, but I don't have enough confidence in them to light up the scoreboard, so I'm going to be taking the under 4.5 total runs in this game in the first five innings. And these two teams, they only average 5.23 runs per game in the first five, which is over this number, but with these two pitchers on the mound, I think they're going to score below that. So give me the under 4.5 total runs in the first five innings in the Tampa Bay Rays versus Cleveland Guardians game. I like it, Trey, Seth. So I'm going to be going to the Cubs versus Cincinnati game. 
I'm going to roll with the Cubs money line in this one. And I'm also going to take the under 10 total runs in this game as well. The reason I like this is because the Cubs are on a roll right now and they have won five of their last six games overall and have won four of their last five road games. They'll be facing the slumping Reds who have a 31 and 35 home record and have lost four of their last five games overall. The Cubs have now overtook the Reds for second in the NL Central or still hot on the Brewers' trail for the NL Central lead while currently holding the number two spot in the wildcard standings. The Cubs will be sending out Javier Assad in this game who has quietly been a stable rotation arm for the Cubs as he holds a 2.96 ERA this season and has not allowed more than two earned runs in any of his last five starts. He has also held the Reds to two earned runs over 7.1 innings pitched this season. Pair that with a 2.16 road ERA, the Cubs have the right guy on the mound in this one. The Reds will send out Andrew Abbott in this one, who has hit a wall in the month of August where he holds a 6.08 ERA. There is hope in this one that he will minimize the runs enough to hit the under, though, as he is better in his home starts with an ERA of 2.84. I do like the Cubs to win this game, but I see them winning in 5-4 to four fashion, so give me the under 10 total runs and the Cubs' money line in this game. Yes, yeah, I like those plays as well. For my play tonight, I'm going to be looking at the Baltimore Orioles going up against the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to take the Diamondbacks at plus 160 on the money line here. Last time that Slade Ciccone was on the mound, I went with them, and he did pitch a very good game. He got the no decision, but the Diamondbacks did win the game. Every time out for Ciccone this season, he's been pretty good for the Diamondbacks. He hasn't given up more than two runs in any of his starts so far. He has given up six earned runs in 21 innings. I think he's more than capable to shut down the Orioles in this game. On the other side for the Orioles is going to be Kyle Bradish. He has been very good this season, coming in with a 3.03 ERA. He hasn't given up more than two runs in any of his starts over his last four games, but he did have a rough stretch of games back toward the end of July, but since then he's been really good for the O's. However, this is a very important series for the Diamondbacks. One of the hottest teams earlier this season is very close to missing the playoffs now, sitting outside the playoffs because the Giants have made a charge. They need to start winning games and winning games fast. So they have a very good opportunity here with Jaconi on the mound, who has been giving them five innings of work basically every game. I think the offense will give him some run support. So I'm going to take the Diamondbacks here on the money line as my play. Guys, let's move over to player props. Trey, start us off. Yeah, and the player props, because I am 0-0 at the moment, because I gave out Julio Urias, under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Braves. And I, guys, I told you it was a risky play. He's through two innings, allowed one run so far. But I have complete confidence in him to settle down and, you know, get through five, six innings and only allow two or less runs. Seth? Yeah, I'm I'm 0-1. Uh, Jordan Walker just came up for the fourth time. He got a single in his first at-bat, so I, I thought I was sitting pretty good on that. And then he went. 0 for 3, his remaining his remaining at bat. So we are going to be 0 and 1 on that prop. Yeah, I keep getting screwed. Uh, I've been watching football all night. I had Jose Altuve over 1.5 bases. I thought that he didn't start because he wasn't in the game, but apparently he hit in the first inning and then got pulled in the second. So uh, I only realized that when I checked my FanDuel app and I lost the money on it. I thought I was going to get the money back. So I did lose the play. Uh, 0 and 1 day for me. I I have been on a very bad stretch of player props, but I'm gonna I'm gonna win my pick today. Let's take a look at those picks. Trey starts off. We're all gonna be winning our picks. I'm gonna start us off here with Paul Blackburn mm-hmm. under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Angels. I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people, but I'm going back to back to back days with risky props. I went with Spencer Strider that hit. Went went with Julio Urias. So far so good. And now I'm going with Paul Blackburn here. I like to live life on the edge, and that's where I find myself with this prop. But I do feel like Paul Blackburn is going to pitch a damn good game here versus the Angels because that's exactly what he's done in his last seven starts. He's been awesome for the A's here recently. And I feel like seven starts is a pretty big sample size. And over those seven games, he has a 2.36 ERA paired with a 1.2 whip. And he's hit the under two and a half earned runs allowed in six of those seven starts. And I think it's going to continue in this game because the Angels, they have just probably hit reset on their season and just completely given up. They've cut a lot of players. They waived a lot of players. They're going full tank mode. Poor Otani. They should have sold them at the trade deadline. But they only are scoring 2.93 runs on the season in the first five innings. And that has gone down here recently as well. But I do think Blackburn's going to hold them below that average in this game. So give me Paul Blackburn here to go under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Angels. I love that play, Trey Seth. I'm with Trey. I love me a Paul Blackburn prop, that's Mm -hmm. for sure. I'm not going to be taking as risky of a prop, though, and I'm going to go Blake Snell under two and a half earned runs uh, against the Giants. I'm just going to start with Blake Snell has been one of the best pitchers in MLB this season, and he loves pitching against the Giants. He has six career starts against them and has only allowed over two earned runs in one of those matchups. 
Snell faced the Giants in June and dominated them as he went six innings of three-hit, no-run ball. This Giants offense is in the bottom 10 in slugging percentage, on-base percentage, and an OPS. They also strike out at a clip of 25%, so I'm going to give you another tidbit. Look at his alternate strikeout props as well and see what you like there. I like Snell even if this drops to one and a half, so don't be afraid to take this at either line. Give me Snell against the Giants. I love Blake Snell, and I love that play for my prop today. I'm going to be looking at Marcus Stimmy to go over 1.5 bases against the Twins. I have a little bit of confusion about what Dallas Keuchel is now for the Minnesota Twins. In his first two starts, he gave up 14 hits, allowed seven earned runs, walked four batters. In his last two starts, he's given up zero earned runs, only six hits and 11 innings of work. So I'm kind of confused at what I'm seeing day in and day out for him. Also remember that he started pitching in August. We have only seen him in four games so far for him, but he still has a 3.50 ERA. And I think we're going to get one of the bad starts in this one against the Rangers. Marcus Simeon is coming in with a 275 batting average on the season, having collected three multi-hit games in the last nine starts. And Dallas Keuchel's last game, he did pitch against the Rangers. He gave up five hits, and Marcus Simeon did get one of those hits off of him. In his career against Dallas Keuchel, Marcus Simeon has a 279 batting average, and I think he will get the best of Dallas Keuchel again in this game, collecting at least one hit off of him. So that is where I'm going to go. Marcus Simeon, over 1.5 bases as my play to break the streak. Guys, it's going to do it for MLB player props and game picks for Saturday, September 2nd slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Dog. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.